We're well on our way, headed down. You see behind me there where I got the side-by-side. -side. We've got a new boat that we bought, or new to us. We're driving two trucks. We have the diesel, and we went and picked up a plow truck, which turned out to be quite a pretty, pretty good uh, find. It's a 1995 uh, second-gen Dodge. It's a gas truck. It's the first gas truck we've owned in, she, uh, first gas truck we've owned in a long time. And uh, it's great, it only has 64,000 miles on it, runs like a top. So we decided to bring both trucks, leave the RV at home, we're gonna tent camp, and uh, run a boat down river for the first time in ever, first time ever. I've never run a boat on the Copper River, so we're excited to get a boat out there. But we brought the side-by-side -side just in case conditions aren't right for the boat. And I'm not, I, I don't feel comfortable. This river can be pretty dangerous, so we'll show you the boat, but on our way. We are on our way. So we're a little behind. We just passed through Glen Allen headed south down to Chitna, which is the town right there where we fish on the Copper River. So opening day, I think it opened up either today at noon. Actually, yeah, it opened today at noon. So normally I'm down there on the river, camped out, ready for the season to open a day or two ahead of time. But we've just been so busy. So we're a little behind schedule getting to the river. It's going to be packed with people because it's opening day. The fish count, last I looked, was close to uh, 350,000 fish in the water, which is phenomenal for this time. They still have a long run ahead of them. So the fish counts are looking great. And uh, I don't know. We'll see how it works out. We got this nice little spot in the trees. Ryan's putting up a run for Kobuck. And here's our little camp. Super nice. Ooh, it's windy. Oh my goodness. Otters, what are you doing? And this is our little home for the next few days of dip netting. Nice, kick out. Good boy. Oh, there's one guy's in. Yeah, but look at the water he had to cross. Yeah. 
talk, you mean? Even in this. Well, I don't know. I'm going to look. Where are they at? They were on the other side. Oh, there they are right there. No, they're right there. Because you can't cross that. No. They're coming in here. See, there's a road right here. I don't see how they're doing it. I mean, look at who's out there. Why wouldn't they just go on the other side where it's where? so easy? I don't know. We're going to go over there and check it out, though. This is, I mean, this is shallow. Oh, you could cross this, but the problem is I'm worried about the sediment. I got stuck, remember, last time? Yes. I don't want that. High water. High oh, water. Big time high water. Oh, this isn't how we came, is it? Yeah, we scooted across. Oh, we came through this, this water? Around like that. Oh, okay. On the side. It gets deep over there, so be careful. There's a drop off right over there. I just said we're about to hit a ground bar. We're f***ed. Well, worst case scenario. Uh, let me step out of the boat and show you. Oh, yep. There you go. We're high and dry. We're coming down river and we were trying to get out of the bumpiest of the water and got over towards shoreline. Didn't see this uh, gravel bar and we are stuck hard. This boat weighs like 4,000 pounds. We're stuck hard digging with paddles now, trying to get a channel to get us back into deep water. Deep water is going to be right back over here. So absolute, absolute worst case scenario nightmare. Anything to say? Huh? This sucks. And we need to... Uh... These are the moments when I like to lose my temper. These are the moments when I try and stay calm and think logically. There's nobody gonna save us but us. Yeah. Oh my gosh, after a lot of pushing, we're floating again. And I think we're about ready to hit the big river. Nope. Oh shit. That's the ground one. It's gonna pull us in. Get ready. Okay, come on, baby.
water. Finally back at the Copper River dip netting, and uh, from what we're hearing, it's kind of slow. There should be a pile of fish coming in, but you just never know with this river. So 
Right now we're just testing the waters in different areas in the in the canyon here and seeing what we can catch. So we've got we're out, we're fishing a this is our first year to fish a federal permit. And so this year our limit is 10 kings and 500 reds. So we have quite a limit, but we gotta find the fish first. Nice. I was like, I know there's one there. <laughs> That's a huge net. It's such a big net. They were right about these fish being little. Yeah. I'm surprised you even felt that at all. Why? So little. Oh, yeah, but you can feel it. Are you going to be able to lift it up out of there? I don't think so, but I'm going to try. Oh my god. It's too heavy. It's too okay, heavy. Okay, hang on to it. You grab it. Here. Hurry, oh, grab the Oh, it's a good pole. one. Here, here. Okay. I'm sorry. Whew. Coming up. It's heavy. Holy shit, it's heavy. Good job. All right, give him the beat. Here. <laughs> Nice fish. Thanks. Give me old beat down. All right, there it is. There it is. Vaughn's king. That's her first king she caught the Copper River was a many many years ago, and there was the same scenario. She's screaming that she caught a. I, I caught it. a king. I can't get it. I can't lift it. So pretty cool. Nice pretty job, cool. babe. Thank you. Slow going. Slow going. Oh, you just throwing them up? My dirty fish hands. Ugh. Crazy. I think I got one king and I've lost like eight or nine fish already. Oh. Anyways, I was saying I lost quite a few today, and I think I have five right now. So I believe last count, er, Terry had 16, Ryan had like nine. So get my butt kicked, but hey, they don't have a king. The current is so strong. Feel like this is gonna twist right out of your hands like that. You just gotta hold it with all your might. And after pushing that boat off the sandbar today, whew, my arms are they're pretty done. Quite a workout. I started a new fish line because my fish line's too heavy to pull up. I have the king on there and like four other fish, four or five. Oh, there's another one. Oh, really? Oh, it splashed me in the face. Yeah, I've been getting nice ones. Seagulls over here trying to wait out my fish because I'm a fish right here. Over 
people are crying for some fish. Not this time, seagulls. Not this time. <laughs> They're walking away sad. That's right, walk away. <laughs> All right, guys, well, I am whooped. Me too. After getting our, uh, after getting our boat stuck down the river, yep. pushing that off, using all our energy to get Thank that off the gravel Terry bar. Terry was on board with us. Yeah, if we, we didn't have three people <clears throat> to do that. Yeah, two men and having three people was solid, but it zapped our energy. So we drove down the uh, the old trail and hiked down the steep hill that we always hike down and. What did you Just... end up catching the king and five others? <laughs> and of course we caught lots, but we only kept, I think she kept five, I kept nine. Yeah, there and, were some uh, little ones. They were only like- Tiny. Tiny. Anyways, we're beat. And uh, we back just- back to camp. Yeah, you know, we don't have what it takes to stay out here. It's just whooped. And we can, uh, we're gonna stick around for a few days anyway. So we'll spread out our fishing and head back to camp. All right, good morning, guys. It's day two of dip net season 2022. We are at the Copper River down the uh, canyon. Yep. And uh, we're by the tunnel. If you guys have seen our ch videos before, you'll kind of know where we're at. We're at the tunnel. And we're headed down this trail we fished before, hoping that we hit the jackpot because we need to get these fish caught and get home. We got lots of work to do. Yeah. Uh, and honestly, this. This is wearing us out. Yeah. <laughs> we ain't as young as we used to be, are we? No, we are not. All right. Well guys, it's, uh, it is Wednesday today and uh, we're supposed to be getting this video out on Friday. So we, <clears throat> we normally film and put the videos out right away. So you, we're probably one of the most up-to-date YouTube channels. I mean, literally we're filming and putting it out the same week sometimes. Normally it's, it's no later than a week after we've done it. All right guys, well, we are whooped. Whooped. That is a... Uh, <laughs> That's Ooh. steep, huh? That's so steep, it's scary. Like, Every I'm year, scared of heights and I shake going up and down. Some of these spots are just steeper than others and that one particular one is just straight up and down. There's yes. But we got everything up. We caught 54 fish in two days. So 54 fish in two days of fishing. Not, not too our, shabby. Not our best, but pretty good, so. We're happy with it. Yeah. Fancy, the fancy knife. I found <laughs> dip that like years ago. It's got a spoon on yeah, there. Yeah, I love or... it. It's got a spoon for scraping the bloodline. All right, 
What else we need? I think that's it. We're gonna get back to that house build, I promise you, but we are living our lives, so <laughs> we're busy, busy people. Busy. Guys, we hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, like we always say, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, we'd love to have you along, and we'll see you on the next one. See you on the next one, guys. Bye.